demonstrate. Good. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Times Up Jamaica. Your girl Bree Bree here. And I'm going to give you a bit of fallout or update from the demonstration at the PNP headquarters today, led by Mr. Andre Stevens and Corin Cross. Remember, there was a bit of. Yeah, it was a bit dicey. It got a bit rough. Threats and. You know, not so, uh, as Mr. Obama would say, in artful language, being sent around at each other at some point. So I guess people are getting scared. And Miss um, Nita Headley sent around a voice note, I guess, disassociating herself away from the demonstrations. So I'm going to let you listen to the fallout from that. And tell us what you think below. Thank you. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. How is it then that if I show up in a shirt, I am being told that, oh, I want you guys to listen to this voice note and tell me what you, what you take of it. Several comrades came out in their numbers. Not many, but... We had about 15 comments. But here is the voice note that comrade Natalie Nita Headley left. Listen to this. Good, uh, good morning, comrades. I'm understanding that there was a demonstration at issue this morning, and one of the individuals in the protest um, happened to have been in a Natalie t shirt my face and the constituency on it. I'm making it clear to the members of my team that I do not know this man. I don't know which constituency he's from and that I have nothing to do with any protest that would be against my party or the leadership of this party. I want to make it categorically clear. Um, I would, I'm going to be seeking to find out who he is, but even so, anyone can get one of my t-shirts and decide to wear it, because it happens all over the place. I've gone to Montego Bay and seen it, but I just want to make it clear to my team that I had nothing to do with that protest and will have nothing. Hello? Jamaica. Jamaica. You hear that voice note of Natalie Nita Headley? You hear that voice note of Natalie Nita Headley? You ever say that, Paella? You hear that voice note to Natalie Nita Headley? You hear that voice note, Jamaica? Tell me now. I'm going to play it again. Good, uh, good morning, comrades. I'm understanding that there was a demonstration at issue this morning, and one of the individuals in the protest um, happened to have been in a Natalie t shirt my face and the constituency on it. I'm making it clear to the members of my team that I do not know this man. I don't know which constituency he's from and that I have nothing to do with any protest that would be against my party or the leadership of this party. I want to make it categorically clear. Um, I would, I'm going to be seeking to find out who he is, but even so, anyone can get one of my t-shirts and decide to wear it, because it happens all over the place. I've gone to Montego Bay and seen it, but I just want to make it clear to my team that I had nothing to do with that protest and will have nothing to do with any protest that discredits the PNP, um, this movement, or its leadership. Thanks. Natalie Nita Hedley. Or Natalie Nita, because I get to understand you recently married. Natalie Nita, how are you? 
Natalie Nita, how are you? Natalie Nita, how are you? Natalie Nita, have you forgotten? <coughs> Sorry. Natalie Nita, have you forgotten that when the seats of parliament was switching up in 2020, <coughs> I hear member of parliament tell me, say, I hear councillors tell me, say, Mark Walling don't like a bone in you. And them also say, Natalie Nita, that when you figure sit down in the parliament, you go sit down back and Mark Walling, and Mark Walling turn round and say, him no want you back at him. Ma the Natalie, did Mark Golding say, him no want you back at him? When they must sit down in the house, he move you up. Move you from back at him. And push you down. Where you have to be behind Mr. Lisa or Paul Will or Mr. Philip, Peter Phillips. I lie me, I tell. Tell me, say, I lie me, I tell. Natalie, I'm going to ask you next now. I'm going to play a voice note now. Because the voice note, they might get intense, you know. Hear the voice note, you yeah. Hear this voice note, yeah. This a voice note for Comrade Natalie Nita Headley. My name is Karen Cecilia Cross. And Comrade Natalie, I listened to your voice note. Somebody said it to me. And I was shocked. I was shocked, I was taken aback, I was just utterly bowled over. I was mainly bowled over by the fact that you felt the need, you felt that it was necessary and it was important for you to make this statement. And I wonder why, why do you feel that it was necessary for you to make this statement? I can only come to one conclusion where that is concerned. Nothing more than the Dayton Campbells and the Mark Goldins and the Peter Buntings and the narcissistic and crazy ass risers them asking you about it. And them ask you about it and your response is to denounce a voter in your constituency who wears one of your t-shirts in the constituency where he votes, in the constituency where he lives, where everybody in his yard of 40 had people vote for you, and you felt it was necessary to come out, come clarify that. He come and Natalie, you felt it was necessary to say you had nothing to do with the resistance, protest against corruption. Because one of your constituents in a your t-shirt, thousands and thousands of which I am sure you have given away, turn up to support our protest against corruption in the People's National Party. And you felt, you, Comrade Natalie, felt that you had to come out and make that clear. Well, Comrade Natalie, I'm going to file this vice note of yours away. And I'm going to make damn certain that the voters of your constituency don't forget it. I'm going to make sure that them see and hear you talking about them cannot wear one of your t-shirts go to a protest. I want them to see you and hear you for what you are, Comrade Natalie. You are a disappointment. You can't even begin to imagine what a disappointment you are. I never knew you were over there sucking up to, um, in favor of these guys. I never knew you were sucking up to them and begging and beseeching them um, so that you can be in their good grace, so that a constituent wears one of your t-shirts to a protest, to protest corruption. Corruption, Comrade Natalie. Comrade Bunting name was mentioned in a report from the Integrity Commission about them, him and the other former ministers, minister, who issued gun licenses possibly to criminals and you don't consider that an issue 
that a member of your constituency in one of your T-shirts can go up to the party, party headquarters, the party which he voted for, and has been voting for since he turned 18. And you don't consider that important? Are you consider that so, so, uh, so, so disagreeable to you and so disagreeable to them? Because I don't think it's you. It's them and you're trying to please them. And you consider it so disagreeable to you that you went out of your way to send out a voice note. The resistance, the PMP resistance will never forget this. We will never forget you, Natalie Dita, who went out of your way to disassociate yourself from a voter in your constituency who got a hold of your T-shirt, whether you give to him or not, and wore it, wore it because he's a proud PMP. He wore it because he's proud of the fact that you are his member of parliament. He wore it because he comes from your constituency and he votes for you and he votes for you. And that is the reason he wore his T-shirt. And now you are telling him that he had no right to wear the damn free T-shirt to a protest, to pro protest against corruption in the PNP. So I'm going to assume then that you are in support of the corruption that Bunting is allegedly by the report of the Integrity Commission. You are in support of that. You are in support of um, a minister of government uh, pulling the levers of his power and issuing gun license to possible criminals. You are in support of a minister of government interfering with government protocol and, 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 and agencies um, we have operation to ensure that some other man get guns, whether they are eligible for the guns or not. You are in support of that, Comrade Natalie. You are in support of Peter Bunting. You are in support of Mark Golden. Who do you represent, traitors. Comrade Nida? You represent the traitors. Who do you represent, Comrade Natalie? Not the people of your constituency. You represent Mark Golden and Peter Bunting now. Are those the people you represent now? We, you must tell us, you know. Tell us who you represent. We could tell your constituents and where they pan for you. Because who I only believe, say, you know, have everything patting on the own look away. But take my word for it when I tell you this. When the resistance, the PMP resistance is finished, with all those traitors that the PMP, someone is going to wish to God, who are going to wish to God, who not stood up and stop being cowards and traitors against Norman Manley party. Who are going to wish to God for that? So what are you? Quietly hoping that they'll go away? Quietly wishing that, you know, Mark will just go away and Bunty will just go away? So you're against PMP people. Every single person who was there this, this morning, every single person I've worked as indoor agent, outdoor agent, plus some managers, PD, captain, people get, get care people get the minimum rating. One woman was there, say, she in a PMP and she used to hold and promise a manly that she can. That's how long ago she in a PMP, she in a PMP. One woman from Westmoreland bring her a plaque where she get from her constituency for service, a dedicated service to her party and her constituency. Give, given to her by Wickham not McNeil. Award for service from 1978. Two persons journey from St. Elizabeth. Hmm? Workers. People who support them party and work for them party, and you get up. You consciously get up and consciously made that voice note. Huh? This in people, this in our protest, this in the fact that we're protesting against corruption, covered Natalie. Covered Natalie, you should know by now, you know. It's afraid that in the PMP resistance vocabulary, you know. You know that. We're done with you. Fred, not into our vocabulary. We have absolutely nothing to lose, and we are going to continue fighting for Norman Manly Party until our last breath. So you can stay there with all the Judas and traitors, them. Hung them up. Kneel down before Bakram Asa Mark Golden. Ask him for forgiveness that a man, that a, a comrade from your constituency, put on one of your t shirt and come come protest against corruption. Go and apologize to Mark. 
you are going to apologize to Mark and bend down for your knee and ask Mark from Alpha Mark to forgive you. All I want to think that there is only, there, there are many ways to fight. And all I want to someone have this on the mind that there are many ways to fight this. Well, yeah, well, show me a way, you know? Show me another way to fight this and how we, the, the PMP resistance fighting it. Because we are fighting you know, and we are more than Uno. Far more than Uno. Far more than Uno few. Risers, wannabe risers, people who are up up risers, we are way more than Uno. Yeah, yeah. The, the party workers that work with us, so the general secretary said that in an in interview, the party workers that work in, we don't know. And you sit down thinking that you're going to win back um, down your constituency if you suck up to Mark, you're a disgrace. You are a disgrace for a PMP. Uh, that you let us down in a real way, and I'm going to make sure the entire country know that that is what you did. I will share your voice note throughout the whole and length and breadth of Jamaica and the diaspora. I will file it away, Comrade Natalie. We are going to damn file it away. Learn that. Wow. That's the con. That's the voice of Miss Karen. Where to turn? They don't know who to make their leader. There is a descending voice across all aisles, and because Dayton Campbell and Peter Bunting, Angela Brownberg, and Mark Golding has clinched a fist over the people, they are afraid to come out and speak. So here's what I'm going to say to all of the members of parliament who call me. Please do not call me again. To the councillors who do not call me again, you are a set of cowards and political neophytes who will not make it right. There are a set of, and I'm going to call it, Maurice Guy, where do you stand? You, Graham, where do you stand? Natalie Nita, where do you stand? Philip Paulwell, where do you stand? Lisa Rainier, Hannah, where do you stand? Anthony Hilton, where do you stand? Lawton Cousins, where do you stand? Political neophytes, political neophytes. Michael Phillips, where do you stand? Well, should I ca even call Angela Bro Angela Brownberg? We know you're one of the greatest traitors in the PNP. Where do you stand? Denise Daly, where do you stand? Julian Robinson, where do you stand? Dennis Daly, where do you stand? Call out to the MP name. Call out to the MP, me and Pandy Live, and say, wish, tell, tell me who your MP be, or your caretaker. Tonight, and on fest, me go, me me see me can't get comrade cross. You know, my child no call me. And boy, we want to do this, but you're afraid and whatsoever. Well, Fenton Ferguson, which part you stand? We don't know. 
Let me call Comrade Cross. <coughs> Comrade Cross. Yeah? Where do you stand? Are you on the side of the resistance or are you on Mark Golding's side? We need to know. They need to declare their hands now. Who needs to declare their hands? Every PNP must declare their hands. I don't think I need to declare my hand. I think um, I'm a founding member of the res resistance, the PNP resistance. So I don't think I need to declare my hand. I'm clear. Where do we... I ask this question today. Where do they stand? You know why, Auntie Karen? Uh, if Natalie Nita, if a, if, a, if a constituent could have decided that they're going to come out and demonstrate. Remember, so work the man are going on and put him put on the shirt, you know. And going and carrying you know. When him a left and put on back him work shirt, you know. And she's going to categorically and emphatically deny the man. I am so... I am so pissed off at this. It's not... I don't even know what to say. Mm -hmm. You know, and... Um, I don't know. I am so disappointed in Natalie Nita. I don't know what to say. And it has, it, it has, I am thinking something else now, just hearing our voice, no? I will talk more about it tonight on Natalie and, and Sunny Day's program. Yeah, but just give me the two sentences, no? Because that's how people going to follow you later. I am suspecting that the risers, them have something over Natalie's head. I am suspecting that she's afraid of something. And usually, this is how they operate. They dig up dirt on people and hold it over them head. I am suspected that Dayton Campbell call her and tell her so she better deal with it. Or else, I am suspecting that. And um, I'm going to have more to say on Sunday Day's program. It's very. And I can't even begin to tell the members of the resistance and the people who are fighting for PMP just how disappointing Natalie Nita is. Just how disappointing. People calling me left, right, and center after listening to my voice note to tell me not to be disappointed. Because these people, all of them, trying to hold on to whatever little power they have. But I can't help myself. Mm. I am so disappointed. Flabbergasted. I am flabbergasted. I woman, you could have flabbergasted. I thought, I still think that there are people who will stand up for principles over position of power and money and know by Natalie Nita standards it is safe to say that no such PNP exists in the parliament possibly the leadership court the division and our constituency levels those who just keep quiet and those who just literally free it free it wow what a sad thing the PMP have come to where people afraid to stand up for what is right. Stand up for what is just, stand up for integrity. People afraid to stand up for the party that them go to parliament, go represent every day. But Comrade Cross, wasn't it the same Natalie Nita that Mark Golding run from behind him and said she didn't want her to sit down beside, behind him? In the parliament. Same one. Jesus. Same one. But, but people don't have any shame these days. And I don't want to beat up on Natalie publicly because she's a woman. I want to show respect and support. It's her. not a matter of woman or a man. It's not a matter of that coming across. Don't carry that argument coming across. Hold on. Let me finish my statement. I 
say, let me repeat. I don't want to be the because she's a woman. And the women of this country and this party get a hard blow. But there's just no way that I can make this slide. Mm. Can't make it slide. Have you, made, can't make it slide. have you made attempts to call her? I sent her my voice note. And mm. I sent her a message to say, and um, some of the resistance members sent her snippets of the protest to show her, to ask her, to ask her if she even believe that we were out there protesting against PMP. We were not protesting against PMP. We were protesting against corruption and Peter Bunting's corruption. Mm -hmm. We never ever protest against our party. Ever. We protest against the traitors and the saboteurs in our party. We protest against Rise United in our party. <laughs> we protest against the corruption. The corruption of Peter Bunting. And more and more information is coming out. He blatantly. And he can file a lawsuit. He blatantly interfered and demand an issuance of a gun license for one person. Blatantly. Mm. Mm. I won't want to know. And Natalie Nita never felt that as a somebody who worked for PMP since I was 14, I have no right to go to the party headquarters and demand his resignation and protest against his corrupt.